Tiger Belly live! Yeah! I'm so <laughs> wow, dude. You got me. That amped. was I know. Why dude. are we amped right That's now? That's this Friday, April 26th. There's only a, a little bit of tickets left. Yeah. We're probably not going to be coming back for a very long time. Yeah. It's the best live show you've ever seen in your life. Mm -hmm. Please come. April 26th at the Hawaii Theater. We're going to play games, sh shames, and, and lay. Shames? We're playing shames? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be fun, dude. Come. Kalala, where can we get tickets? You guys can get tickets at TigerBellyLive.com. It's going to be so fun, interactive, and Bobby might do a little dance. Yep. Brea Improv, um, May 3rd and 4th. Come check it out. You know what I mean? I'm going to work on some stuff. And also, I have some people coming out to see me. You know that, right? Dude, those Brea shows are really fun. They're fun, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Um, some people want to come out to see me maybe do a special. Wow. So you, you got to come check it out. You know what I mean? And laugh your head off so I can get to a special. Everyone you need, need everyone's there. support. I need everyone's fun. support. Come. I mean, it's, it's there's only 40 tickets left. Then oh. Show up. Yeah, so check out. It's two weeks away. I'm just, it, it'll, it'll Be one of those 40. Be one of the 40. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, I, I'd like to make an announcement. Um, my first announcement I'd like to make is that um, I'm out. Out of what? I'm, I'm just trying to find a number. I'm just trying to find a number where I can get out. Do you understand what I'm saying? You mean like get out of the, the, the game? The game. What? I'm going to make enough money. You're good at the game. Uh, pretty good. I'm like more of the, you know, I'm like the Michael Naismith. Jordan probably is. really thought you should have just said Jordan. I, I, I try to come, I try try to come, to I, I try up. To come up with a different ath athlete than Jordan. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, but it doesn't work because I don't know any other Michael Owen. Michael Owen. Michael Owen. He, yeah. was, a, uh, he was a soccer player for f Liverpool. Yeah. But I, once I get to a, a, a certain amount of money and people are going to be like, where'd he go? I'm going to shut it all down. I'm firing CAA. I'm firing my manager. I'm going to, I'm saying it right now. Tiger you guys, I'll fired. never see you guys again, right? Yep. Wait, not you're firing us too? Colli yeah, you're fired. We're fired. <laughs> yeah, you're fired. Phoenix. Yeah, and I'm going to live on a mountaintop, and I'm going to have a garden. Oh, yeah. Arugula. Just, just, that, that, no, I, there's do you more. like arugula? There's that, more, there's do more. Do you like it that there's much? There's more, there's more. Uh, turnips. Carrots. Tomatoes. Do you like And tomatoes. Okay. Okay. Oh, two seconds. Potato and potato. So, oh, I like this. Yeah, both. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get both. And I'm going to have animals, mm -hmm. a dog, some cats, three. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll be in my freezer. They'll be dead. But they'll be there. There we go. Okay. And I will get out and no internet, no Wi Fi. No Wi Fi at all. Why do you want this? I just, you know, I'm just, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of all the. All of it, the criticisms, you know, people's judgment, and I'm done. I've had, I've had enough. I just queefed out of my mouth. I apologize. Sometimes do men don't have vaginas. We do not. So we queef out of our mouth. Yep, that's what a burp is. That's what a burp is. <laughs> exactly, dude. And I'm no doctor, but um, welcome. Please sit. We started already because I, I have an announcement to make. Here's an announcement. Oh, no. Yeah. Today, Should this I morning. Should I withhold this gift for before or after the announcement? After the podcast, maybe. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm officially. <laughs> what? what why? I'm, I'm officially I'm officially resigning from life. He's getting out of the game. What, until I make a certain amount, I have a number that I'm going to reach. What's your nest egg amount? Yes, this is a good question. I'm not going to say it online. No, what's your neck? No, your neck. What's a nest? What's a nest? nest I don't have enough. Like I'm not a bird. It's like the that you have in your head to be like, okay, oh, yeah. I now I've made. Okay, that. you bleep this out. We'll bleep it out. Oh wait, that's a great. That's a no. That's a decent nest egg. That's around my nest egg. Yeah. It's so expensive to live. I don't think that that's an. Okay, but why do you want to get out? No one wants to work forever. Yeah, it's like retirement is imminent, right? My so is death. Ah, you guys want to work forever? So I don't. He, 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 I'm work at, well, I can choose what I work at. Oh, that true, is true. True. Because like, retirement, like uh, they studies show, but people who officially retire, 
they actually die sooner because their brain isn't working. This, so they like break their head. Choosing, hip. completely being able to choose uh, all right. exactly what you were. I, I, I'm, I'm not even understanding what a word you're saying because I'm not even listening to you right now. Okay. Listen, you know what that's, mean? Why, but, I, I, but, that's why you don't understand. Yeah, listen, I, wait, that's, why I don't, that's why I don't understand. understand. Wait, wait, I don't understand it because I'm not, not listening. listening, dude. My point is, is that. Um, listen. No, you listen. <laughs> I'm tired of I listening. I got a gift for you. He's out of the game. No, yeah, I'm it's going to make you unresign. Oh, can we turn it around? What would turn it around, actually? He doesn't even know this brand, so it's not like he's going to think it's special. Okay, give me the brand. I got you something from DS Durga. Oh, wow. Uh, do I have their colognes. Which ones do you, you have? So you do this know is their... the brand? I have six of their colognes. Okay, because I have the latest. <laughs> he has the whole I, lot. <laughs> I know, but this is their No, they late... have a lot. <laughs> they have their latest release. Give it to me. If I'll you be have the this judge. one, I'm going to be so mad. Is it does it taste like te smell like tennis balls? Because I have one that smells like tennis Wait, balls. Wait, no. Did you get the pasta water? No, not pasta water. Wait, what? I got one that was unknown. Like the, It's called like unknown or something. It's, it smells like tennis balls. What's it called again, Kalila? It's One of them is, this one is called um, the brand, Gato sorry. Black, I think. It's their latest release. Ghetto Black? Gato. Uh, <laughs> I, I love it's Ghetto Black. Black. Ian Edwards uh, wears this. <laughs> 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 the Ghetto Black. The Ghetto Black. Oh. <laughs> This is called Blackout. Oh, Blackout. Yeah, yeah. But let's see this this right here. The, yeah. This branding, by the way, yeah. amazing. I've never heard of this brand. It's great. Dia Sturga? Yeah. They have one in Venice. Oh, they do? Yeah. I got it for you in New York. How is the Jetto Black? This is the best one they have. This is so Isn't good. Isn't it so good? This is the best it's one a, they've ever it's had. It's a black cherry and a bunch of like other This is the best one they've ever had. I love it. I love it. I was hoping you wouldn't like it so I could take it no. back. <laughs> I love it. it. I like yeah. that move. I love wow, it so much. this is a much. great brand. It's a great brand. Didn't they have great smells? I don't know what is what I have. I have. I don't know what I'm wearing it right now. It smells like um, a brand new tennis balls. It's my favorite. No, there's another one. I think they only have it in candle form. It's called. Uh, What's the called green one? Parquet leather. Oh, pistachio is yeah. just okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you go? Which one did you go? I have Radio Bombay too upstairs. They oh, can. that one's a great. I have one, one upstairs. The baser is the. I think the fig one. I have the baser too because 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 it's a Pixie song. Whoa, steamed rainbow. Um, so they have a, one, a scent called Pasta Water. They also have a really good one is the Parquet Leather. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, well, let's... Oh, I have Rose Atlantic. DS and Durga, very good smells. Sponsor us, guys, if you want to be on there. <laughs> they have, this is great. They're so rich. They don't need us. They don't, you, need a, you need us. They're killing it. You need us. They don't need us. You need us. killing it. Did you want oh, to hear? Someone's I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, when you tell him, you tell him to wait in the... No, no, we're not going to do that. With him. It's very good. People love it. All right. <laughs> let's go. All right, here we go. Let's make it quick because it's pretty hot in there. Okay, no, okay, anyway, three. So, hey, two. welcome to what's it called? Tiger Belly. Yeah. It's the podcast that um, Kalal and I started many years ago, and it was remarkable. It's, we're still doing it. And what a miracle. <laughs> it's it's great. It's a miracle. It's, it's a miracle. miracle. It's a miracle. 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 We've gone through waves and tribulations, oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah. ups and downs, and side to sides. But, you know, um, we've had great guests. We've had George Lopez. Right, he was on it. Yeah. David Spade, Judd Apatow. Yeah. We've had some people, right? Yeah. But this guy, this guy, I never thought I would ever get. So check, check it out. All right, mm -hmm. we've had his buddy. What's his name? Steve O. Yes, remember with his new teeth? Yeah, yeah. It's fucking creepy. But anyway, I love him though. <laughs> what a good guy. So what I want to say is, uh, so I did a movie um, called Sweet Dreams that he was the star. He kills it in the movie, and um, it's about recovery. And um, obviously, you know him from all the Jackass movies and other films and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. How about a round of applause for Johnny Knoxville, everybody? Woo! Johnny Knoxville's here. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Hey. There's Johnny. Oh, hello. Johnny. 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 <laughs> Johnny. Johnny. Sit here, Johnny. Okay. <laughs> Come here, man. Did you know you were inside a porta potty? <laughs> I, I did know, and I was just thinking how hard it would be to get the rest of the cast. <laughs> uh, there's, trust is at all time low. <laughs> you live near here. I know this. I, I used to live right down the street. Oh, really? For a little bit. Oh, uh, talk into the mic. <laughs> yeah. but, but now I live like 12 minutes from here, but I was a minute from here. But you live by Santino because he tells me he sees, he sees you. Santino? Andrew Santino. You know Andrew Santino? Of the <laughs> Temecula Santino? <laughs> I love the fact that you don't know Andrew Santino. He's on Dave. He's my other podcast partner on Bad Friends. Oh, the, okay, yeah. the, the redhead. Still not. Oh, wait, let me, <laughs> let me keep this in. I love keep this. Keep this in. I love it. 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 The redhead. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's... Do you know any redheads? Uh, my old assistant Megan was a redhead. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 There we go. So you're not. You're not against them. 
No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Even though they supposedly don't feel pain like everyone else. <laughs> really? I read that. All right. <laughs> Anytime I read something about a redhead, I'll send it to Megan. Oh, all right. Wait, that is a real condition, though, that I learned through some like book I read a long time ago where some people really don't feel pain. And I always thought you guys were part of that pack when of uh, just jackass in general, just mm. through all the things you put your body through. Do right. you guys feel pain? I feel pain. I just don't care about it. <laughs> Right? Yeah, it's, it's like it's like when I was molested. It's going to yeah, don't yeah. Care. yeah, yeah. Thanks. I didn't for, care much. Thanks for drawing that for like Bobby. Uh, yeah, well, I'll stop there. So, <laughs> but the reason why you don't feel pain because you know it's for entertainment. Well, I feel pain. I just I don't. It's just part of it. Right. You know, I'm, right, right. I'm trying to do something, and that's part of it, and that's it. Right. Well, because you, but also uh, must be like people are watching it. They're gonna, especially on when you're doing the movies. So in your head, you're like, "This is painful, but it's gonna, it's gonna look great on screen." Yeah, that was I'm just trying to get the bit, what we're doing, whatever Dude, the, the prank or the stunt. I, know, just, I get it. I get it. And then, yeah, you're kind of a stunt man. Do you remember when you blew both of your knees out trying to dunk? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you did it. I did it. Yeah, you yeah. what? What size of goal was that? <laughs> That's an honest question. I know that, that, that's, you know? that's a hidden slam. <laughs> oh, oh. What do you mean by that? No, it was. Uh, I did a game show with Keegan. You've worked with Keegan before, yes. uh, Michael Keegan. He's great. He's good. He's good. Not great, but um, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a great guy. He's very talented. But um, and I did a game show with uh, him and Rob Gronkowski. It was like a sports show, and I blew my knees up because I had to do stunts and stuff. But it's you know, but of course when I'm doing it, it hurts. But I'm like, there's a live studio audience, <laughs> and I know that you know it's on whatever CBS or whatever, so you know people are gonna watch it. So you kind of endure the pain. So you had to have surgery, or you twisted your knee, or what? No, happened? I never. No, I'm just trying to. No, get no, I know, I know. Yeah, I still you conflate things every now and then, Bobby. <laughs> What's a smidge? Just yeah, a smidge. What does conflate mean? Uh, I just you, you, exaggerate. I yeah, I, yeah, I exaggerate. Sure. Okay. Fine, Johnny. Um, I did not have surgery. I went to the hospital. I got it checked out. My left knee blew up. Yeah. Yeah, blew into a ball, like a ball. Ah. And then it's kind of, now I, when I, it creaks when I walk, but it's like, it's the pain's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> now, but I know I, I wasn't, it Look wasn't up. a slam because I know you're he's an turning, athlete in high school. The, he, I love it. This is how talented he is. Yeah. <laughs> See what he's doing? So you were, he's doing this. He, he's, uh, <laughs> you're good. He was. He was an he athlete. Would, a wrestler. He's how do you know this? That's all you talked about on the movie. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, hey, he come up, he's like, hey, you want to wrestle? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just preparing yeah. for a scene right now, but maybe we <laughs> yeah. can wrestle later. Hey, hey, you want to hook up collar and elbow? <laughs> well, maybe later, Bobby. Okay, okay. But I, no, you you competed how many years? In wrestling? Yeah. Middle school and most of high school. Mm -hmm. At what weight? <laughs> and that's not a slam? 98, 105. Wow. What? That's not, that's like not even Adam weight. Yeah. That's, light. that's incredible. I was little then. I, I listen, everyone listening, okay? When they see me on screen or whatever, right? And they go, look at how fat he is, right? I did this to myself. That's who I genetically. That's great. I genetically, is, I'm that guy. Yeah. That's great. Did you, could you have wrestled in college? No. If, I did math. <laughs> no, but <laughs> if. They don't like it. If they don't, did, college doesn't like it. If you didn't run into those problems, <laughs> could you okay. have wrestled in college? Like think D three maybe walk on even. It, I, okay, I'll, let, let me let me let me throw this out. If I had dedicated my life to it like I did comedy, then yes. Mm. You know what I mean? If I like, because I know a lot of these guys on my team during the summers are like, no, we went to wrestling camp. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, where I was just like blowing guys and smoking weed. You know? Yeah. What I mean? yeah. Classic. Classic. <laughs> right. You and me both. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> In that order, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> The blow first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I don't like the flavor of weed. Yeah. <laughs> so I like, I so like there, you I chased it with weed? Yeah, yeah, I chased it with weed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I, um, yeah, so everyone would like do weights and like train on off season, and I was just like partying. Mm. But if I dedicated, maybe I think so. My brother, especially, mm. my brother was amazing. He would have gone like D one. Oh, sure. Yeah, he would have gone for sure. He went to state. He was supposed to win it. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah I was born. I, I also played tennis, so I was. Born athletic because my dad's athletic, but you know I just decided to do this to my own body. Well, you did a great yeah. job. Did you play sports? Baseball. That's mm -hmm. right. You're so good at this. So yeah. We did a we did a movie called Sweet Dreams. Let me ask you a question because I've talked to the director a couple of times. 
Have you fucking seen it yet? I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to see it. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I'm going to have an aneurysm. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> No, 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 just, 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 just stop, stop. Everyone stop for a second, okay. People I respect have seen it, really enjoyed it, and I just have anxiety watching myself sometimes, mm. so, okay. uh, but it, it, but as, but, but to everyone who's worked so hard on it, I, I know I'm going to watch it. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just, it's a lot. Uh, Johnny, I want to say, Sweet Dreams was the first movie I've ever seen with me in it. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, every movie I've ever been in, I, I, I do the red carpet, but I won't do the movie. Mm. I can't watch it on, you know what I mean? On, the, I've watched two probably things in my life, Reservation Dogs and Sweet Dreams. Mm-hmm. And I have to say, and I was there because I brought a date, no offense, but I brought a date. <laughs> no, 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 no offense. She's my ex, you know, we, we dated for it's, 10 but years. But it's been. Oh, okay. I was yeah, wondering yeah, yeah, the yeah, dynamics yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. But long broken up. I mean, two years he's almost. dated like twenty since, and each time two, he's like, I'm no, a Christian. What the fuck are you talking? Each time he's like, no offense, as if <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're fine. None taken. Fine. Just say none taken then. I did. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> are we sure? <laughs> but should we step out, fellas? <laughs> this is what this is what this is. We do this all the time. So anyway, I so I I go. You know, I turn to my date and I go, I'm gonna watch this one. She's like, oh well, well that's not weird. I go, yeah, I've never done this before. Mm. Sat there. And I think the reason why was because Josh Brolin and all these guys came in. And I just was like, I have to stay almost. Like the pressure of leaving would be weird, I think. Because I, I was already sitting there. The shy is there. Shia was, the shy was like, what's up? You know what I mean? I was like, you know what? I want to man up and watch it. And I have to say that it was so pleasantly surprised by it, especially by your performance. Oh, well, thank you. No, I want to give you some compliments. Well, I... I <laughs> Let's do that. Let, just let Let's me do, do it. it. <laughs> just let me do it. He's so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I know. Wait, when did you guys first so, meet? I'm trying to understand this relationship. He doesn't know. He, I know, uh, but he doesn't know. Interesting. You're probably correct. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, I've I been know, hitting I, the head a lot. Uh, so I know. So let me ask, uh, all right, before we get into Sweet Dream. Before we get into this, uh, you've made me cool because my, my son is uh, like, you know Bobby Lee? I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, I did a movie with them. Yeah. And he loves you. He's so psyched. I'm, I'm well, tell here my today. son hello, and I'd love to have lunch with you guys one day, okay? Okay. Well, no, just a little, if you have a picture or something you can sign. I could, well, you can FaceTime him right now. I'll do whatever you want. I'll FaceTime him. How, face how do you feel about the constant touching? Uh, I've gotten used to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little unsettling in the beginning, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, you, so Johnny, I have to ask you. <laughs> DraftKings. Rewind it back to the days of chillaxing on the beach and all day fun with spring break on DraftKings Casino. Play exclusive games like Fan Fave, Rocket. The excitement is endless. The vibes are right, and the cash prizes could be huge. Bobby, you know I used to live in Vegas for a couple of years, right? Of course I know you did that. You know, you know I love all the blackjack. Yeah, you know I love roulette. You know I love poker. Yeah. With DraftKings, it gives me an opportunity to play all of these games, but I don't need to be in Vegas. I can do it from my phone. You sure can. New players start playing with just five bucks and get 100 back instantly in casino credits. Download the app and use code TIGERBELLY to book your one-way ticket to fun with DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888 Eight nine seven 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 seven, or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. Twenty one plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per opted in new customer. Five dollar wager required. Max one hundred dollars of casino credits awarded, which require one time playthrough within one hundred sixty eight hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com/promos. Restrictions apply. <laughs> Johnny, I have to ask you, in your mind, you think that Sweet Dreams was the first time you and I were ever together? Uh, I had never given it, I, n- I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, I just got to hurt my feelings. Because there's often times where m- my kids will ask, hey, have you ever met so-and-so? I'm like, nope. And then they'll show me a picture oh, of me with that person. I see, I see. I just don't, I, I, 
I'm terrible with that. Where did we first meet? Let's well, cut we to didn't, the chase. We didn't, we didn't meet, but we, I walked by you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow! And I tried to meet you, but I didn't feel like the timing was right. Oh, that doesn't count. It does that. count. It does count. I'll tell you why. Wait, you didn't know. Where that. did you? Uh... I, 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 all right, and I, I think this will be, be better. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it was at <laughs> Chelsea Lately's rap party thing. Oh. Okay. Okay. You were standing next to Allison Janney. Mm-hmm. She was there, right? And I turned. Allison said hi. I go hi. And I, we, you and I locked eyes, I thought, but I'm so small, you probably didn't see me, <laughs> right, right? And you went, oh, hey, oh, and I went, oh, you know what I mean? And that was that kind of thing in the interview. But was there a formal oh, introduction? Oh, no, 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 there wasn't, no, no. But we, we, we acknowledged each other. Yeah, our presence, which was better, I guess. Our yeah. souls met and said, winked, and then. Okay, that's well, that's, yeah, that yeah. was a fine first meeting. <laughs> that was a fine first meeting. <laughs> yeah. And then when I legitimately met you was the first day we shot together. Mm-hmm. On, 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 the, on the movie. God, I walked into that and it felt like everyone on the set had been together, had been shooting for three weeks and I was the new guy. And uh, uh, Well, I'll I was tell like, you why that was. Everyone just instantly gelled. You gelled too. We loved you. W- well, <laughs> I, no, I, I, I did uh, enjoy work. I did like everyone gen- uh, generally. I just... I think my character was kind of the odd man out, and I felt, and I'm li- I have social anxiety anyway, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you why you had to be like that. Not that we even felt any, I did, we didn't, but what I'm gonna say is, um, there were some heavy scenes, and I remember turning to you a couple times and going, like, oh my God, you're fucking amazing. Or like, I would go, you're fucking killing it. Like this guy, I'm telling you, this movie is number one, I don't know if it's funny. <laughs> It's supposed to be a comedy, but you know what I mean? But I, <laughs> about, about what great, uh, is, great promotion. I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's a, I think that's a very um, special way of promoting all movies, he said. What? Yeah. Like, everyone is just like, I don't know if it's this, I don't know if it's that, no, and it I was is. terrible in it. No, no, I'm not saying, oh, no, I was great in it. Okay, but for once. <laughs> yeah, so for once, I'm going to say, I'm going to, everyone in the room, I walked out of there going, yeah. There we go. Now, Drugstore June, we'll see. I, mean, I didn't feel you that. You were exactly. great in it. You, you saw were it? great in Drugstore. Oh, okay, dude. but with Sweet Dreams, I went, this is what I like. Uh, you know what I mean? I go, oh, that's a muscle. Mm. You know what I mean? That's something I did. You know what I mean? But what the movie is, is heartfelt. It really is. It really got me a couple of times where the whole tone of the movie is just like, it just feels right on bar with what a recovery movie should be. Mm. And you, there are scenes in there where I swear to fucking God, dude, that were like, oh, this is award performance. Well, thank you, Bobby. <laughs> and so, when <laughs> I know. I, so when we're grabbing ass, you know, because th- I've known Theo for what twenty years. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. known Mo for forever. All these guys, Shakewell had done our podcast before, right? So it's like I knew all these guys. So I guess you know, what I mean, it made a dumb founder's my best friend, one of my best friends. So I guess when you came on to the set. Because we all kind of knew each other, yeah. that's what you were feeling. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's so, it. But you killed it in that movie. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. And you've heard good things or no? Yeah, I've heard a lot. Of, I've heard good things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard really good things. Yeah. So, uh, and, and, it, and it felt genuine because I think a lot, lot of the crew was in, was in recovery. Mm. A lot of the cast, it was from the ground up, so... That, that scene in the movie where we're at that big AA meeting, you know what I mean, with all the men, and everyone in there, because when I watched it back in the theater, everyone in there were people that I'm like, oh yeah, that guy's in the program. And like there was a lot, you know, mm. and it was the f- first scene of an AA movie or a recovery movie where, where I went, oh, that's believable. Usually when you see it, it's like, an A meeting's in a gymnasium and the chairs are in a circle, right? And, and, it, right? and it's fucking weird, like, you know what I mean? It, it doesn't feel r- authentic. But this movie, there were scenes in there, like some of the scenes with you and Jay. Jay kills it too. Yeah. More. Where I'm like, oh, that's what it looks like as a sponsor sponsee. You know? It felt real to me. Like, oh, I've done that before. And no offense, I, I heard Jay <laughs> has gotten into shape these days. <laughs> Dude, bro. Right? Yeah. Is, bro, that, is that, did I hear correct? Yeah. In the movie, he looks like the blob <laughs> from X-Men. I, no, dead on. His head attaches to his torso 
There's no neck. It's from, just fat. From, oh, not from muscles. No, it, his, it's like his face <laughs> was melting onto his body. Uh, is that too harsh? He would, no. no, he was That's rather Rubenesque. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah Rubenesque. Yeah. And I, then when we, uh, at the premiere, he looked like a lot, lost 200 pounds. Wow. wow. He That's looked great. great. Yeah, yeah. But it's a great, and I hope you, so you did um, Fallon, right? Yeah. Did you lie to him and say that you saw the movie on Fallon? Nope. He didn't ask. Oh, he didn't nice. ask. Yeah. Nice. I never lie if they ask. Right. Me. And did you lie um, in any other uh, promotions? Uh, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like during that press day, you must have. There was a lot. Um, no, it was fine. It was yeah, fine. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't. You know, I don't recall most things, Bobby. <laughs> Why? You're not a drug addict. I know. I just you're a bright. I'm guy. a little. I'm a little mercurial. Ooh. Tell me what that means. I don't know. I like that word. What is mercurial? Uh, spacey. Oh, you're. I. Uh, me too. Aloof. Uh, no, aloof is different. Am I aloof? No, you're so far from aloof. You're the opposite. It's so funny how you've used that term to describe yourself, and I'm like, there couldn't be anyone less aloof. Aloof is someone who is like. Uh not I, engaging, someone who's a little bit like out of touch with what's ha their surrounding. Yeah, me. No. Like I don't know what's going on now. No, you're. you're <laughs> I'm, out of, I'm, out of, I'm out of touch now. You're the Tasmanian <laughs> devil. You're pure chaos. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, good. That, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're mercurial. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you're mercurial. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. But you, you're uh, invested into the situation, like whatever. When I've been around you, you're. Okay, Very here we invested. go. Let's get to it. into it. What the fuck do you mean, man? Uh, it, it means you're not aloof. Like <laughs> you actually oh, care. You. Yeah, yeah. You know? But you. What do you mean? You care? You just like. I just felt like you were like. Your 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 role. No, I care. I just it's okay. Yeah, it's, uh, let's not. That's okay. No. All right. Do you, are you on, do you because I'm on medication? Do you do that or no? I did uh, after my last. Concussion. I just my my mind fell off a cliff, and I had to go on uh, antidepressants for about a year. Wow. Yeah. How many concussions have you had? You think sixteen. Wow. Ooh. So. Oh my god. But the last one was near the brain hemorrhage, and it just it changed me. And um, well, that wasn't like that was a real like TBI then, like a brain injury for real. Mm. Oh, wow. Shit. And so, yeah, just over, it happened December 2020. During, and, during the shoot for the last movie? Jackass movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And by, by May, it was just steadily downhill. And, uh, but I got, I got, luckily, you know, I got on antidepressants and it really turned turned me back around. Did it just go dark for you? Did things just start to look like, Grim and like depression, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Truce of thoughts, just everything was just piling up. I was uh, drowning. Yeah. And, and no matter what people said to me, they couldn't break my into my false reality. Yeah. Wow. So it was just your brain plays tricks on you sometimes. Wow. And uh, mine was really playing tricks on me. And, uh, but yeah, thank God. You know, I then eventually uh, I got off the antidepressants, and I was waiting for the shoe to drop. But I'm like, no, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wow. How do you know this? Like, you're you're on medication. How, how how did you feel like you were getting better? All the all the symptoms I had that I would just describe. Mm. You're slowly Went away. I slowly came back to reality mm -hmm. and realized all the things that I thought were happening weren't happening. Wow. And, what the fuck, man? you know, um, wow. So, and then I was in, we were, I was in Italy with m my girlfriend and I was waiting for my medication to arrive and it just kept getting lost in customs. And so, oh, shit. oh my God. And I was like, oh, I, I, I guess I'm off my medication now, and then I was, you know, you're a little anxious. Yeah, I was, yeah. But then I was, I was like, you know, I feel just fine. Wow, so. that's oh, good. awesome. That yeah. was not my experience um, getting off meds <laughs> at here? all. No, like I, I thought that I could just um, cold turkey my meds, but this was in high school. 
and I got off my Zoloft for a couple days, and I ended up in a BHC in a psych ward. <laughs> Are you 50, supposed to taper off of yeah, it? Yeah, you're supposed to taper off like slowly. But maybe for this particular one, it was like especially important that you taper slowly. And I didn't. I was mm. like, I'm I'm done. And yeah, it backfired a lot because um, all the stuff just came back with like a fury. And I was a little bit confused even. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, like me, I like my for my medication, I, there are t like, I was taking them every day. And then I realized like there were days where I was just sitting at home and I was like, maybe I shouldn't take it. So now I just take it when I think I'm gonna need it. Mm -hmm. But you're still on the Ritalin, right? Yeah, but I take yeah. it when, like, you know, like when you know, I knew Johnny was coming, so I want to be able to listen and and focus on what people are saying and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were talking about antidepressants. No, no. Like, uh, well, we're just talking about medication in general. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah, yeah. I'm prescribed Adderall for ADHD. Oh, so you do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I remember yeah, 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 I remember yeah, 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 taking yeah. the uh, some. Uh, tests after my last concussion. Yeah, yeah. And I took a series of tests, and the doctor came in. And was like, "Do you have trouble paying attention?" <laughs> I'm like, I, I, well, "I was like, yeah, I could. I'm, I'm like, I can't sit to edit. I can't do anything. And I, right now, and he goes, "I'm like, why?" He's like, "Cause you scored a 19." I'm like, "Out of 20?" He said, "Nope, out of 100." <laughs> wow. Yeah. What were the tests like? Uh, just uh. They test you on, uh, a, you're staring at this screen and these letters. And, oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it worked. I, did, I didn't do great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, out of 100, I want to take that test. You should, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think on Ritalin, you go, okay. But I let's, mean, yeah. Well, if you're on Ritalin. <laughs> Right? Oh, oh, no riddle. Take it with no yeah, riddle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I mean, I feel like right now I could take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, but, yeah but there are times, like sometimes, Johnny, I'm at the comedy store and I'm on Ritalin, and comics will be like, what's going on with you right now? And I go, what do you mean? And they're like, you're here. I go, what do you mean? They go, well, usually in the last 20 years, you're like, da, 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 da. you'll like say something really quickly and just walk away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you know what I mean? Something like yeah. psychotic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they're like, you've literally sat here for five minutes and you've heard my story. Yeah. And like, you're like normal. I go, oh, that's, I'm sorry if I did that before. You know what I mean? But now I explain to them I'm on medication, this and that. So I, it does work. Yeah. 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 You can focus and yeah. you're not hovering above. You actually land. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. I, I fucking hate, I hate thinking about 10,000 things at one time. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, so you're not going to do any more Jackass movies then? Because your body? Well, I, I don't know if we'll do another one. But if I did, I couldn't do any stunts mm -hmm. where I could get another concussion. Mm. You know? I can do things. I, I don't care if I break my wrist or arm <laughs> or whatever. No <laughs> one cares. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I just can't uh, have any more concussions. Uh, you guys should have a Korean on it. Just FYI. Hey, diversify. I, 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 why just diversify jackass? I would love I'm a jackass. I would, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Bobby, yeah. say no more. <laughs> I would literally do it. You're going to wish you had it. <laughs> really? Really? I, I think, well, do you want, okay, I'll, I'll ask I, you. I, okay, go ahead. Do you want, like, the half experience of being in jackass, or do you want the full experience? What, what I want to do is I want to be able to, um, I want the full experience. Ooh, what does that entail? Like, okay, here's what I don't want to be. You're eaten. treated like a cast member. Yeah, I want to be treated like a cast member. You, okay. What does that mean, though? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? mean? It means like you usually. Sometimes we have guest stars and we let them do their thing, and they're not targeted. <laughs> oh, right. All oh, right, 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 right. If you want the full experience, yeah, yeah. It's not a definite. You'll be targeted, but it's. Or a definite anything would come of it, but you'll be treated like everybody. I feel like that would work for you. He's sort of a thrill seeker. Yeah. Like he would be okay he, he, being right. electrocuted. Or I saw something <laughs> that, that never, I, think, I don't think ended up on the shows. I think Wee Man or Jason or something showed it to me. But it was like Chris Pontius. Maybe we'll have to cut this out because it's crazy. He's outside on a like lawn chair and he's jerking off. Oh, that was at my house. <laughs> Oh, now we got the location. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the yeah was that your house? Oh, that's, yeah, he was jerking off, and then he was about to come, and he started chasing people around. Like, that's so Oh, my, wait, no, no. That, that was real house? I'm sorry, that was at Trip's house. Oh, that Trip's house, yeah. Were you there? I was. Yeah. That, there's two incidents. <laughs> there's two incidents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. The first one was you're talking about, I believe, is for the Playgirl Pontius shoot. Maybe I don't know. I just I remember seeing uh, that. for Jackass. He had a full erection, right? Yeah, full erection. Okay. Big dick. That was the first. Yeah, he's Big, he's bigger than yours. He's packing the lumber. Oh yeah. Okay. Good, oh good, yeah. Good, good. Um, it's like a walking stick full of bagels. <laughs> <laughs> he. Yeah, it's pretty. But big. I had a broken ankle at the time, yeah, so yeah. he finished. <laughs> all over himself, and then he decided he wanted to give people's hug, people a hug. Oh, wow. So he's chasing me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that is the most frightened I ever was on Jackass. Oh he God. gets right up, he's almost got me, and something shiny catches his eye that way, yeah. and he takes off that way. I was like, oh, thank, thank God. God. Wow. Because he's strong, too. Yeah, and there was a lot of cum. I have a question. Yeah. 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 I have a question about um, cum. Okay. <laughs> we're we're science, professional. Science alert. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, have it. Like, so. oh, this is something I never really like considered before. Are men afraid of each other's cum then? I'm, well, it's I, it's yeah. Because like, like, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't I'm, want. Yeah, I mean, I like my yeah. bros, but I don't want. I'll, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'd rather have on my body. Okay. I'd rather have. You remember Aliens, the blood. Yeah, I'd rather have that on my body. Well, I'm more scared of blood, but <laughs> no, like, but there, it, it burns so... through metal. Their blood. Yeah. In Alien, it's, it, it's, okay. it just seems I mean, so like alkaline. Watch the movie, dude. Yeah, yeah. But like, I wouldn't be afraid of like my friends like discharge. Like, oh, well, well, that's <laughs> too easy. You have a very healthy uh, <laughs> outlook and relationship. So, come is friends. scary. Okay, if she had men. a discharge and yeah. she had, and she had it all over her body, would you hug her? <laughs> well, general. <laughs> I think that I I, I'm I not, might give her a, a polite bow. Oh, yeah. or fist I think it's yeah. more like if I didn't know somebody, then it would be obviously disgusting. But I'm more terrified of blood. What are you talking about, Bobby? I'm fine with cum. Well, unless it's not in my mouth. Thank God you said that because <laughs> you know maybe work something up. Yeah, for yeah, you yeah. Later. yeah. <laughs> so in the next jackass thing, you know, cum I mean, segment. I've, it has to be a cum segment. segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm fine with. It. I just don't want to eat it, and because I, I don't want to get sick. That's reasonable. Okay, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, is there is it bad for you? Dude, we do it our whole lives. We're, Who's we? Girls. Oh yeah. I mean, and I mean, you have I, I know you've swallowed cum before. What do you mean? Be real. What do you mean? <laughs> what, what, what do you, I don't what know do you mean? mean? I, I don't know what you that mean. That was pretty direct. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? In your younger years when you were yes, doing... Yes, 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 yes. You swallowed. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just blink if it's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> Bobby Lee is not a spitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I did a public... But I've tasted my own as well. Let's move on. I don't want to talk about this, yeah. but... It's like I feel like, like that part's normal. That's, but, that's yeah. normal, yeah, yeah. So come, yeah, so you... Um, you've never tasted your own cum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've I've had uh, some, like, shoot up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, like some accident in the air. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like feeding like you know what I mean tuna to a dolphin or whatever. I mean, I wasn't trying to <laughs> catch, yeah. but it just yeah, kind of whatever they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So the next Jackass movie, you're gonna probably not do as many of the dangerous shit. Yeah, I I mean I can't. I'll take a more of a backseat approach. A more of a Jeff Tremaine pro, mm. and uh, like, do this, do this, like earpiece kind of guy. Well, no, we're we're all there. Yeah, there's yeah. no earpieces. It's just, but the movies kill it, right? They always they, they do well. They done good. So, yeah. So why um, wouldn't what is Paramount? Why wouldn't they do it every other year or every three once it, every three years? Well, it's just they're. I know it's what we do is silly, but they're special to us, and we want it. We, you got to. You got to really, really want to do that type of movie mm. to do it because they're, it's, they're very dangerous. Yeah. And so, like, you're, you know, you and your buddies are going to be putting your, you know, mm. neck on the line. So, has anybody um, been close to literally dying? Uh, sure. Yeah. There's been a few times with me and uh, a couple of other people. What do you mean, like, d death? I mean, like... Uh, I was riding the Red Rocket in the second movie, and it was like an <laughs> Acme Red remember. Rocket. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And it exploded while I was on it. A foot-long metal rod shot out the sides. One went, like, this far from my ribs. It would have Jesus. cut me in two. Oh, my God. And one went back, like, 300 yards and split our two art guys' 
like right between their heads. It would have decapitated oh, oh them. Oh my fucking god! So there's been a few incidents like that. Wow. Yeah. So. Well, what about any of the animals, like the a bear or an alligator? No, nothing. Uh, well, we n- not almost death, but we we were a little reckless in the last movie with Aaron and the bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Yeah, because they told us the the steps a bear would do before. It <laughs> bites and won't stop biting. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Because it, it, it's looking for, a, it was it was semi-trained, so it's looking for a reward. It'll nudge you, mm. it'll nudge you again, then it'll nibble, then it'll nibble again, and then after that, you're fucked. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. So. Yeah, that. Yeah, the guy was really, Jeff was basically holding the trainer back. Oh, my God. I would be, that's what I want to do. That's what you want to do? Yeah. In, You're not going to yeah, do yeah, yeah, anything yeah. you want to do. You're going to do exactly something you, you don't won't want to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, th- you know what? You know what, Johnny? I like the challenge. <laughs> if it ever happens, I would love to do it. Okay. okay. I'm just throwing out there in the universe. Okay. You guys hey, heard him. Knows. I don't care. Everyone heard. I'm, I'm willing to do it, right? I've done it. I've done it all. I want to do it. Let me, I want to ask you another question about, so, um, and don't feel weird about this question, okay? Because <laughs> it's, it's about your skills. Your acting okay. skills. All right. All right. And uh, if, and I'll be honest with you, if I cast Steve O in a movie, I don't know what is going to happen, right? Like in terms of like, does he have the skills to memorize lines and do all that stuff? I, I would bet maybe not, right? I I don't, I don't know. know. He's, I don't he's, know. He's 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 sharp. He's, yeah, he is a sharp. Yeah, he just yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know I don't know. But with you though. I, 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 and we were all we all talked about this behind your back. <laughs> Not, that's a good feeling. <laughs> no, because we were, you know what I mean. But we were like, we would literally go, dude, that guy can legitim, you can legitimately act. Oh, thank and, you. And and it's, to me, as a, as a, you know, a guy that's been a fan of yours, you know what I mean, to see you do Jackass and all this stuff, and you know, and I know you'd been on sitcom, you did that sitcom with Keegan, you know, so I know that you can act, right? But it's like the kind of acting you were doing for Sweet Dreams was like deep like you were like tapping into shit you know what i mean so did you go to train did you train or is this something you were just born with like what happened uh well i've been doing films now for 20 years yeah, so yeah. You, and that when i first got to town i trained mm. uh like my- i was i was just it out of the gate i was terrified of the camera mm. just would freeze freeze in front of the camera <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. uh so i had to get over that yeah and then you just have to i don't know do it in in it's like anything repetition and get more comfortable with yourself so it's like stand up like stand up people were like i couldn't do it but once oh no i did that once man i was <laughs> no, like you let's do- not do this again you can do it again <laughs> no it was terrifying yeah. i was 15 Oh. Yeah, you did. Oh. I did it when I was 15 at the Funny Bone in Knoxville. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I wrote like five or 10 minutes. And and because I heard that Eddie Murphy did it when he was 16. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I did it. And God, I, remember, I, I used to sweat really bad in yeah. high school. But my sweat stains almost met in the middle that <laughs> night. I was so terrified. Right, right, right. It was... 15, of course you would be. And I, I'm scared. Of, I was frightened of, cr- of crowds growing up. So mm. that was... But Johnny, I'm telling you, if... Just hear me out. I'm not, I'm not asking you to do it. In fact, you know, don't ever do it. Oh, stand up? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about I know, it. I know, I know, but I'm gonna, but, but I will say... I'm gonna try to convince you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna try to convince you because you're not gonna do it. Right, mm. but I do. I have to say uh, I now. I now. I see. What you're doing. <laughs> no, 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 no. no just you know, I'm just speaking. Listen, okay. Uh, just hear me out. All right. I know for a fact you could do it, and that's that's all I want to say. Well, and, if I and, could overcome my fear. Yeah, but it, it but it's. Let me. I did a movie called Heartbreakers. It's on my IMDb. Check it out. <laughs> and and in, in this movie, Wait, I, did you I, take uh, your Ritalin today? Yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. Can Maybe you imagine enough. if he did? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Heartbreakers, right? Yeah. And I had a monologue in there, okay? And this is probably my, I don't know, I don't know how many movies I had done, but not a lot. Yeah. And also the things that were I was asked to do in movies were like so like kind of, 
Silly, that movie. Classic okay? film. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. It's a terrible, uh, it's a, I don't know, I've never seen it, but um, <laughs> I'm sure it's good. Wait, Tia Carrera's Chris in Catan it. Chris Kattan vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Chris Kattan's in it. Tom Arnold. You know, the best. Anyway, um, I remember I had a, a monologue, and they said action, and nothing came out. Oof. <laughs> Because was it, it one was, of your first films? No, it's like a, maybe third one, maybe you know what I mean. But I was young. Yeah, we were still. That's yeah, that's yeah. very early. And I was nervous. Sure. Right. And it was not. It also, I can do it now. But um, if the monologue or whatever doesn't have any kind of humor in it, where I can kind of lock in, I go, "This is where I'm get the laugh." I I just get. I was lost. And right. so when they said action, I opened my mouth and nothing came out. And then all of a sudden they say cut. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're in it. Like the sweat is coming down. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you see chaos in the back. You know, you, you, you start spinning. Yeah, yeah. And the video village is like talking with each other. Like, what the fuck is going on? I know, I know. And so they slowly come up and they go, you need some time? And I literally looked at the director and I go, I'm not going to be able to do it. I just, I just not going to be able to do it. And they go, what do you mean? You have to do it. And I go, I just know I can't. I'm petrified. What day of the film was this? <laughs> I, I, have <laughs> you done other things? Yes, I already shot too much. Okay. I had shot too much of the movie for them to cut me out. So how did that, <laughs> how did what, that what, conversation what? go? I said, I can't do it. They go, you have to. Then I go, I'm telling you, I'll try again. But I can't even think of the first word. I'm right spinning. I'm spinning right now. Yeah. And they go... All right, well, let's try. Action. I maybe say a couple of words, then I stop. And it's now it gets worse and worse. Sure. And now it's like I just it's like I just want to leave. Right. Right. And then I basically I told her, I go, the director, I go, can we shoot this some other day? Oh wow. And they and they and it, it, it was getting late too. It was a, it was a night it, uh, we were outside. Right. It was like midday and it started getting dark almost. I mean, that's how long we were. Yeah. And I, and then we just they just never got back to that scene and they, they obviously that scene's not in the movie you know what I mean um, how long did it <laughs> did it take all this ne the a couple hours oh, that's that's, it's, that's, it's, that's 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 real fear man that's tough and then I and then Whitney Cummings that was when I when I first met Whitney and she goes you got to get on beta blockers and I go what does that do and she's like it's just I get the same thing what are you doing. I had to rent it so I could find your scene. But yeah. Yeah, just... there I am right there. <laughs> petrified. <laughs> Look at it. Petr Petr petrified. Petrified. <laughs> petrified. Were you, was it just that scene? Were you that petrified in the rest of the movie? I did well, like... Was uh, it the monologue? Because it was... It a, was a, so... Because it was a monologue and because it was like kind of long and... No comedy. It, it was no comedy. And also I had never been asked to do a monologue. And so on Mad TV, that you I mean you would have teleprompters and stuff. Yeah. And also, I felt comfortable that I could fuck up because I just know everyone. Mm -hmm. But this one, it's just like I just didn't know anybody, and I just you know, now I can do anything. But it's like at that time, I just couldn't do it. So I mean, basically, the long story short, I don't even know why you even went into that. Oh yeah, because of the um, talking about in, in the beginning of when you first started acting, you weren't as comfortable, and then through time, yeah. You know I mean, and now as a, if I, if you did stand up. Yeah, the first twenty will be bad, but I'm you. But you would figure it out because you're a smart guy and you're a funny guy. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I. <laughs> God, no, but I know what you're talking about. I, I think you should try it. Um, I think you should try, it, Johnny. I don't know. <laughs> but on my first big movie, yeah, you know, Jackass came out, and and my first big movie was with Barry Seinfeld. Wow. Uh, and it had uh, Rene Russo, Stanley Tucci, oh my God. Uh, Dennis Farina, okay. Tim Allen, All right. yeah. Jason Lee. It was a big movie, and I had a I'd sprained my ankle doing Jackass, and I wasn't supposed to be doing stunts to do that before this movie. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get there, yeah. and they're going to fire me because I have a broken ankle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then I see that they're flying me first class. I'm like. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, all yeah. the, you know, and then it's like I get there and they put me up in a big suite. I'm like, it just kept getting <laughs> worse because I'm like, yeah. this is all getting taken away yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. 
And then we had the read through, which I I still don't like read through. I fucking I hate them. Hate them. Yeah. Yeah, they're the worst. I hate them. <laughs> they're the fucking worst. Table reads. Yeah. Oh my god. Anyway, so so I how'd had, you do though? How'd you do? I'll tell table? you. Yeah. I, I have every scene with Tom Sizemore. Every every line I have is with Tom Sizemore. And uh Sitting around this table, I think I have Stanley Tucci and Dennis Farina directly across from me, and Rene Russo's right there, and <laughs> Sonnenfeld's down there. And so I give Sizemore a couple of lines. He gives me a couple of lines, and I give him one back. He's like, where did you get that accent? What, what are you doing with that accent? And he looks down at Barry Sonnenfeld like, like really? And then I at look- At the table read? At the t- in front of oh everybody. Oh, my God. I'm already thinking I'm leave going home. Yeah. Now I know I'm going home. Yeah. And I just, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? And I look over and Stanley Tucci's like, mm. Yeah. Oh, man. And at the time, I thought, <laughs> at the yeah. time, I thought, he thought, wow, you really stink. Yeah. But that's not, I, you know, uh, he may have thought that. But I, but um, he was very nice. So I'm like. I was like, you know what? I'm I might be sucking right now. I don't know, but yeah. f- fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's like Sylvester Stallone and Rhinestone. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die my way. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I I just kept doing it and then halfway like Were you doing an accent or no? Just, no, I was just giving this um, just tweaking my southern accent. All right. Okay. Really yeah. wasn't really doing much of an accent. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh and then I Later on, I do it again. He's like, you're still doing that accent. And I was like, I mean, I was like, okay, I'm going home. I'm, I'm going to pack. I, I, I was going to pack, right? Yeah. I got through it. Yeah. But Sonnenfeld comes up to me and said, don't pay attention to Tom. You're doing great. And I was like, oh, fuck. That, that helped a lot. Yeah, that you need Because that. I was, I was gone. But Sizemore, like he's passed now, and uh, he was he was really rough on me the first couple of weeks, mm. uh, and I didn't care because I just thought I'm just getting stories left and right. Right, 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 right. And he saw eventually that I can just roll with whatever, and then he liked me, and he didn't want anyone else talking to me. <laughs> yeah, what? I became his guy. <laughs> it, wow. No, if people came up. And tried to, he was like, mm. "Why? Yeah, but why would you? It, th- th- those are the days. I don't think people can behave like that anymore. Mm. Yeah, no, it's different. Now. It's different now. Yeah, because back then I've had some. I've, had, I've talked about it on this podcast some fucked up, weird. You know what I mean? Situations. You know what I mean? Where like egos and like you know what I mean. But I, in the last ten years, it's been like I just feel like everyone's kind of more woke, and you know, what I mean? there's all these rules, and you know what I mean. Do you still have like an internal like hatred for like Brooke Shields or Kim Cattrall, or is that like gone? I have an internal hatred for life for them. <laughs> you think forever? You're never gonna like just... yeah internal uh, hatred for life, because what what uh, what, what I want to say about the both is that I was a young com a young actor, and I was like scared, and it was like I've never been on a sitcom before, so with. Kim Cattrall was a commercial, mm-hmm. and with Brooke Shields was a sitcom, right? And um, how did it go with Kim Cattrall? She hated me. Really? Yeah, she hated me. She why? She because this is the first time I ever did, did anything really, and so I had this. I, I did this Michael Bay commercial for Pepsi. Okay, and I'd like to hear how that because <laughs> <laughs> you, you worked with her before. Uh, no, but I've heard stories, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I want to hear. He was a little. Uh, listen, I I talked to Joe Rogan about it. He goes, "Don't tell that story the way you're telling it because you, you have it wrong." Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to retell it. Why was Joe Rogan there? No, he wasn't there. But he's saying that you because and he has a point. A lot of times, <laughs> lot, no, he has a point. A lot of uh, Johnny. A lot of times when we go through things, it's through our perception, right? So it, you know, in like for instance, when I did Heartbreakers, to me, I would be like, everyone there hates me. Yeah. Right. But that's not true, yeah. right? Right. I don't know what they're feeling. They might not even be feeling. What's this? Heartbreaker. Yeah, yeah. T- t- we turn this oh, off, man. Wow. What the fuck? Oh, yes. <laughs> you said there was Boy. no comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no. much comedy. No, that I was. Yeah. Oh, oh. Man. oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, turn that off, dude. Turn that off, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn I that off. I know what dude. I'm doing, like. <laughs> 
no Holy comedy. Shit. That's no out- comedy? No, in the monologue, dude. In the fucking monologue, I do said, you, man. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that. Now I'm watching it. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, so um, so a lot a lot of the things that when we tell people, it's through our own perception. And it, we don't, it's not based in any kind of reality or full truth. You know what I mean? There's glimpses of truth. It's based on how I perceive things. So basically, my first one of my first acting jobs, I came in. So Kim Cattrall is in the bathtub. I'm a towel boy. I'm with Eric Stone Street from Modern Family. And Eric and I are towel boys. And I walk in with a stack of towels. And I walk into the bathroom. And there's a light that the fucking towels are blocking. So Michael Bay would get cut. Dude, your face has to be in the fucking light. That kind of thing. <laughs> right? And I go, oh, I'm sorry. I don't I'll do it again. You know what I mean? And we did it so many times because I don't. Now I can feel it. Right. You know, no, I know. Okay, I can feel the light. Right, right. But back then, I don't know what a jib camera is. You know what I mean? When they say, you know what I mean, a mark. I don't know what a mark is. Yeah. I don't know any of the terminology. I'm basically, you know what I mean, a street kid (laughs) from the suburbs, you know what I mean, who's a drug addict, ex-drug addict who (laughs) did stand up one night at a comedy club and here I am now on a, you know what I mean? But Kim Cottrell was just really not that nice, you know what I mean, to me that day. And then same with Brooke Shields. Showrunners didn't want me on the show, but the network did, and so she, I, you know, they just wouldn't even look at me or talk to me for the whole. Sh- Wait, shoot. didn't Michael Bay like pull your face into the light eventually? Yeah, but I make it seem like it's more aggressive than it probably actually was. Oh, mm-hmm. did he Great. softly, like tenderly? He could, he could have just went. I tell, I used to tell like this. He grabbed my head like this, and he goes, "The light's here. The light's here." <laughs> 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 right, but it could have been. Hey, dude, please, this, he, dude, please, <laughs> sir, you're doing a great job. But right here's the light, right? Oh man, I don't like people touching my face. That would. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah people have touched my face. Ooh. Makeup, especially, I hate it. Makeup, <laughs> makeup, <laughs> different. Makeup's I, I, different. I, I, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's so weird. So, when did you get comfortable with acting after that? Uh, I just got more comfortable as I went along. Mm. You know. By the time I got to set and realized that I wasn't, my ankle had healed and I wasn't getting fired, I relaxed. Mm. But there's no way to relax in a, a read through. Yeah, dude. Yeah, man, I can fucking fully get it. And Has I- anyone been just flat out mean to you? Oh. I love these, st- I love, the- I like gossiping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had like, I mean, I mean, I've, so I, at Mad TV, this is what happened. So one, did I tell you the story? Katie DePole. So there's a writer. She wrote Ghostbusters, the one with the women in it. Great, right. better, better than the original. But my point is, is that um, Katie wrote that, and she's a, she was a writer at Mad TV. And so the, for our very last table read, the show's canceled. Back then, we wouldn't get the fucking uh, scripts um, um, emailed to us. We would get it delivered. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Right, yeah, right yeah, so yeah. they would deliver it. Yeah. And so um, the the script, and you know, at Mad TV we would read twenty sketches, seven or eight of them would make it, mm-hmm. right? And so you know, I, I'm rifling through what sketches I'm in, right? And then there's a sketch in there that I, <laughs> there's a sketch in there that I'm never in. It was like it was like a reoccurring sketch with the, a couple, like it was a guy and a girl, but it's like a country. No, it was two girls. It was like a country TV show kind of a thing, right? And um, but I'm like, why am I in this one? And th- you know, they're having a conversation, and in between the conversations, my line is in there. Some of them's like, "Shut up," or you know what I mean, I'm I'm losing my mind, mm-hmm. right? That those are your these lines. are the lines, <laughs> right? That didn't really even make sense with the with the dialogue that was happening, yeah, yeah. right? But Katie, that script was the that was the only one that, like that that was delivered. So when I'm doing it in front of everyone at the table read. <laughs> They, when they're reading it, that's not in there. So now everyone thinks I'm going fucking. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, ev- now everyone that's thinks funny. I'm going out of my mind. Is that on purpose? Yes. Who did it to the, you? The writer of that sketch. And the last line is, I'm going to shoot everyone in this room. <laughs> Wait, what? And then, and then one of them was just bird noises. It just says bird noises. So like, beep, 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 beep. Like, so when we're reading it, right, you could see executives backing up from their chair. That is how long have you been on the show at this point? My eighth year. That's pretty fucking funny. I didn't feel like it was. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I, didn't I understand like you being upset. Yeah, I didn't but like, that's like also, it. And also, that's yeah, yeah. very funny. It, it is, in retrospect, funny. But in what happened was, yeah. 
So at the end of the sketch, <laughs> it was dead silence in the room. You know what I mean? And, I, and, and in my mind, I'm like, I read it wrong. <laughs> Like, I misinterpreted how to deliver these lines. So the that's bird why noise. I did the yeah. bird noises wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe it was a different bird noise or whatever. <laughs> I should have done something like that. But it was like, and as it's dead silent. And then there's only one person that's laughing. And it's Katie. Oh. She didn't even wow. tell anyone, even the, any of the producers. Afterwards, she didn't tell No, after no, she stood up. And she goes, Bobby has a special script. At that least he only got has. you off the hook. Right. And the whole place went into laughter. Oh, good. Meanwhile... Okay. <laughs> it's like I just went to Vietnam or something. Like, it was fucking traumatic. Yeah, if it, yeah. I mean, she. I mean, that was you know. And ever since then, I ask. Do you, do you? I table reads. I go. This is everyone has this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, like, compare. Like, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean. Did yeah. she do things like that to you after that, or no? That was our last episode. That was our last table bit. But she'd been like wanting to do it for years, That's like as a prank. Oh you know I mean? It's a really good one if you think about it. Wait, right? has uh, has someone been really outwardly like mean or? Um, <laughs> Sizemore was rough. Yeah, on me the first couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't. I just thought it was hilarious. But you know, he's, you know, but like, he has a, that reputation. I feel like. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I've heard stories, but, um, but then he flipped and we got along fine. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. he owned you. Yeah. Then he owned me. Then I was his yeah. bitch. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, here's a funny story I never told. Uh, it's not, it's not anyone like being mean, but it was really awkward. I was playing an Oscar on, I was an extra on the Ben Stiller show. Oh, wow. And I was playing, a an Oscar statue in Oliver Stoneland. It was a skit they <laughs> yeah. were doing. Is this, is this post Jackass or pre? Did people know who you were then? When you no, did this? No, 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 this, this was years before. You, okay, okay, so no like, one knew, you were just, uh, you, then you were back to the background. I was like 21 though. or 22. Wow, wow, okay, okay. So uh, Jackass didn't have for another eight years. Uh, so I was playing the Oscar statue in the, in the costume guy was like, Okay, we got to figure out what to do with your package. <laughs> and I was like, all right, you know. And he goes, we got to hide it. I'm like, uh, yeah, I get, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll just talk. He goes, can I? It'll just be a little better if I, if I do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I, you know, I'm like, okay. And he, he proceeds to stick his hand down my pants and my underwear <laughs> yeah. and reach under and grabs my dick and balls and pulls them back. <laughs> and what? then, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then he's like, he maneuvered. He's like, okay, I think, I think we're good. <laughs> and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? I, yeah. And of course, you, you're, you're probably, you can't complain. No, it was... It yeah. was it was really awkward, but yeah, I yeah. also knew that what happened was so awkward. It's probably a little funny, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that I yeah, even yeah. let someone do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, well, sure. So go you, ahead. Not, so I he, didn't know he was going to. I thought I didn't know what he was going to do. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know he was going to just like. But he but grabbed from, the actual flesh. No, but hungry, from the back. Hippo meat from the back. From the yeah. back, he pulled it yeah, backwards yeah. like this. But the, but the but here over the under. Show you. No, no, no. <laughs> No, but over the underwear or through skin? No, it was cut. Holy fuck. Okay, okay. Oh, wow, 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 yeah, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, skin wow, on wow. skin. Wow, wow, wow. It was raw dog. Raw. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, let's see if that would happen, what I would do. Probably nothing. You'd probably laugh. I would laugh. Yeah, i go, yeah. whoa, dude. Or no, like, I, I, it was awkward and I found it a little funny. Really awkward, though. Why I, don't the Oscars have genitalia? What? <laughs> they tuck. Duh. Yeah, but the statues, right? Or the actual Oscar itself? Oh, yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, but they don't have a is nose or eyes or mouth either. So, like, oh, so, that is yeah. true. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean there was a, true. Uh, yeah, if there was other things, you know what I mean, on it, then. Yeah, I think Oscar puts his nuts in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that something that men just toy with or play with in front of the mirror, like the tuck in or the tuck back? Oh, I've and done you're it. like, yeah. Uh, I, uh, Gilbert's like, yes, I of know. course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've all seen Silence of the Lambs. We've all right, seen right. Buffalo yeah. Bill. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've done it maybe 
two hundred times in my life. I know. I think our first <laughs> date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah right? Probably. What yeah. a romantic. <laughs> check out this. Check out this. <laughs> You know, what I mean, it's not. It's a thing that you, you want to see what it looks like if you didn't have one. Yeah. It? Yeah. You know what I mean, what's the, what's the big deal? Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you had a big clit, you'd probably stick that out and go, "Look at my dick." Oh no, I shove stuff back in there all the time. There are some days where it hangs a little lower, and I tuck the lips accordingly. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, but this is not a secret. Like. <laughs> just to know they're women, so you sound crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So uh, let's I just move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move yeah, yeah. On. But yeah. okay. I mean, look. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm, I have a question, but I, like, yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed. Yeah, go ahead, go, go, go. Yeah. It's, it, I, I, I receive all questions. <laughs> I receive. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I, I am a she/her. I am a biologically female. If that's what you're. So wondering. no, but like. <laughs> That's on your mind. Like, I want to make it shift to the left or right, right so or something this morning, today. This morning, oh, I look at the mirror. Okay. And for some reason, my clit was a little bit more engorged and it was not tucked into my little sandwich. So I thought to Her myself, <laughs> little sandwich. <laughs> little sandwich. Yeah. My little sandwich, little, my pita bread, right? It's, and a foot so, long. it's a foot long. Because foot. as you know, Bobby, <laughs> I've seen it. As anyway. you know, it's usually like. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not little, I'll tell you that. No, but it's usually like tucked in neatly, It is, right? like, it's tucked in. I don't in, have like, like an Audi. You're right, you're right. But then today I looked at it, I was like, oh, I don't know if it's the weather, but it's <laughs> hanging a little different. <laughs> and and so I was like, oh, just give it a little tuck back in and that's it. But, but why? About why, why do you have to tuck it back in? I don't like the friction of things moving around like mm. my underwear. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I just okay. like to have it all it, in one. I, I, I mean, that's the one life experience I've never had. To have a vagina? Yeah. Yeah. I know, I'm just saying, I just oh. wonder, you know what I mean? I just, it's a curious thing. It's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of time. God, no. I, I play with my penis enough. God, if I had a vagina, it would, <laughs> oh, I'd yeah, get yeah. nothing done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, anything you want to promote, Johnny? <laughs> no. Sweet, sweet dreams. Promote, watch it on Paramount Plus. No, oh, Paramount, yeah. iTunes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I uh, podcast, Pretty Sure I Can Fly with Elna Baker. Um, uh, That's a great name. Uh, pretty sure I can fly. Yeah, that's yeah, from a Guy Clark song called "The Cape." That's oh, great. That. How long you been doing that one? Uh, we're on our about thirteenth or fourteenth. Oh, good. Oh, okay, so, you love it. It's it's a lot of work. Yeah, and, but we're, I'm getting to talk to great. We're getting to talk to great people. That's and, great. Yeah, and um, it's so, smartless is Bateman and those guys. Yeah, yeah. So they're yeah. producing it. Yeah. What a great fucking fucking thing. It's so. Really psyched on that. And me and my cousin, we have a radio show, The Big Ass Happy Family Jubilee, on uh, uh, Outlaw Country on Saturday nights. I didn't know. Where? Yeah, yeah, Where do you yeah. do it? Huh? Where do you do it? In uh, L.A.? He's, he lives in Chattanooga, and I live in, uh, you know, here. So he, we just get linked up. Really linked up? Yeah. Wow. Uh, an, an engineer does that. If I ever wanted to promote something, could I go on there and promote it or not? Oh, sure, sure. I feel like, it, I feel like I'm not being real right now. Yeah, you can come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and, uh, and, you know, Steve-O and I have a new skateboard out on steveo.com. So. A new oh. skateboard? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Since I'm such a great skater, I'm <laughs> awful. I'm fucking dreadful. You can Ollie. Yeah, me either. No. Me either. No. Anyway, so um, give Johnny. What's that? I mean, it's when you. Oh, first, when Tony and Todd Trotman and Ollie. Your first yeah, time he like, yeah, yeah. did that. That's the. Oh, okay. oh did you? <laughs> That looked like you purposely fell. No, no, no. I, you per, you're like such a drama queen. You it, it, purposely it, it, it fell. Hurt, look, it hurt my little leg. And Tony's like, get back up, you fucking pussy. Oh, that's right. First does the Oh, is that Ollie. Jason with him? Yeah, Jason Ellis, yeah. First Ollie ever. Right, right. Ready, guys. Oh, you. Slow down. Got it. Holy shit. I got a little air, right? That's the first. Yeah, yeah. Had you tried to Ollie before? I've never been able to do it. He taught me how. That's, that's I got a little air. Really? <laughs> Shut See? up. Dude. I know. That's <laughs> awesome. Up. Really? Will you let me? Okay, go. That's go ahead. awesome. Thank it's you. like I, you can tell you're an athlete if you like. That's the first day in time you tried it and you you got it. Yeah. What? A, I, but that ramp I'll never be able to do. Can you drop down on a ramp like that? Well, I I I I have and uh, <laughs> yeah. I just went in gravity took over and I went straight to the bottom. Wow. <laughs> it's like I I didn't even try to. I just stepped off. I just stepped off my skateboard and just. Just like fell. Wow! Yeah. So you didn't even try. 
I no, I tried. I yeah. committed because what I didn't want to do is undercommit and slide down All the right. back of it. So yeah, yeah. I overcommitted so much, I just stepped off my skateboard and just fell twenty feet to the <laughs> oh, right, right, right. straight, straight yeah. to the. Because let me say something: when you're up there, because I've been up there, it yeah, is scary, scary as scary. fuck, bro. Things look uh, when you're standing under them, you're like, ah, it doesn't look that big, and then you get up there, you're like, oh shit, yeah. Yeah. Like, especially when you put the board and you're about to drop in. Oh, my God. Yeah. And when you look at Sky Brown and these kids doing it, it's yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're amazing. Skateboarding is evolving in a way. It's like the 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 girls that are doing oh, it. Oh, here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Is that you? Oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. God, dude. Yeah. I can't do a vert. That's scary. What, what was that at? That was for Jackass TV show. Wow. Yeah. And, and that's the last time you tried? For that, because I, <laughs> but the guy walking up, yeah, yeah, Dave yeah. Carney, wow, he was going to shoot me with a taser gun. Oh, he's got a yeah, taser gun. I'm like, as soon as I can get my air back, you can shoot oh. me. Yeah, yeah. And he and he shoots me, and I'm like, whatever you do, aim low, right? Because I don't want it in my eye. Yeah. Right? And he one went in my chest, and one went in my neck. <laughs> oh. And like out of the chest, you can pull it; it'll come out. Yeah. But my neck, the skin, like I was all the way up in here and wow. it wasn't popping. Wow. Yeah, so. Have you done tasers since then? Nah. I've never I've done. I've gotten stunned since then, but uh, I haven't done a taser since Yeah, then. I've never been tased. Ooh, that could be one. Can you die? Can we just get like nah. medical clearance? Oh, I'm getting old, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway. I can still fuck. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. Jesus. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> 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 give Johnny back a round of applause. That's a good ending. <laughs>